welcome back with Rasa the Dancer and today I'm gonna give you five tips how to recover after a congress. Um, I'm referring to dance congress of course since I'm the dancer myself and I think you will benefit from my top five tips because I've been in many many congresses and I needed a lot a lot of recovery so I think I kind of nailed it. And to be honest with you, I am recovering right now. So if, I'm, <laughs> if I look like I might pass out any moment, it's only because I just came back from Sweden and then I went straight to another congress and it's been crazy. What can I say? I'm a crazy girl. So stay tuned and you will get the five top tips for recovery. My first tip for you is I think very obvious sleep you need to sleep you need solid eight hours minimum it depends on a person some people sleep more than others the body requires more than other people but eight hours is kind of is like a, the norm right so it's just really important if you had a crazy dance uh, congress and you really went for it, that means you did early mornings workshops and then you went late nights and then maybe some parties and after parties which probably led you in sleep deprivation. So the first and most important thing is to just make sure you have one night, at least one night of just a really good sleep. And that would be like half job done in recovery. Tip number two, water. <laughs> I don't know how about you, but when I go to a congress and, and if I want to enjoy myself to the fullest, I tend to have a few drinks and um, alcoholic beverages. If you don't drink alcohol, um, you're most likely going to be okay. But if you do tend to three days in a row have a little bit more alcohol than you used to, Water is kind of the key. Um, in general, drinking too much water is, is um, not common. You know, you have to really over drink. So I would recommend water no matter what. But one little tip I'm going to give you, and this is not for everybody, but if, if that works for you, that would be amazing. What I tend to drink is hot water. So I tend to put some lemon in it for getting some vitamin C at the same time and antioxidants and all of that. And then I put hot water. For some reason, I feel like if I drink hot water and the lemon gives a little bit of flavor, then um, I can drink more, like one cup after another. Cold water, I tend to drink a couple of zips, but never enough. It just, it doesn't work the same way for me. Also, hot water is really good for your system. So it's really good for flushing all the bad things that are happening inside you. So give it a go. As I say, it's not for everybody. If you really cannot drink hot water and makes you sick, then of course you're not gonna do it. But if you can, it's kind of the best thing for you. Hot water with lemon. Dancing non-stop in a congress is really straining for your body. Your muscles get really tight um, and of course the feet get tired and, and all your body is in a lot of pressure. So my tip number three is to stretch. Proper deep stretching. Okay, the recovery is so much easier if when you come back home, well, it is nice if in the Congress you stretch all the way through as well. But we know how that goes. Oh, I'm tired, or oh, I have another class, or oh, I have a drink, whatever, and then you end up not stretching, right? So at least when you come back home to avoid injuries or feeling bad um, and hurting everywhere, deep stretch. Of course, before any deep stretch, there has to be a bit of a warm-up. Don't suddenly come back home, go to sleep, wake up, and then I stretch deep. <sighs> and you're going to stay like this forever, yes? So always like a little, little tiny warm-up, yes? And then have a stretch. When you stretch your really tensed muscles, you will feel so much better. So combining the sleep, 
then you drink enough water and then you give a bit of a stretch and you already will feel so much better. Believe me, I know. Tip number four is useful for everybody at any time, but especially after the progress as well. If you have an opportunity to take a hot bath, do it. It will relax your body, it will relax your mind, it's just overall good, no matter what. But especially after you have like a really intense dance congress, it's like ideal. If you have only a shower, of course you can have a hot shower, but you know, you'll be running a lot of water and we kind of should be concerned about global warming and stuff, so I guess that's not helpful. But if you do have a bath, use that opportunity. And to be honest, if you're staying in a hotel during the dance congress and they have a bath, it's kind of useful to have it every day after workshops or after the night of dancing. But if not, at least at home, if you have a bath. Maybe you can borrow the neighbor's bath. It depends how close you are to the neighbors. Scratch that. Final tip, tip number five, <laughs> medication. <laughs> oh my life. When nothing works, you turn to the pills. What can I say? No, um, this is only like in very severe cases, right? If you really had a crazy congress and your head is exploding or your feet are swollen or you know you need anti-inflammatory medication or you need painkillers for your head um, or if your muscles hurt to avoid taking painkillers there's a lot of like just gels that you can use so to avoid actually drinking pills so there are a lot of gels that can help you with the pain um, but of course if the, if the pain is humongous that's a different story so the tip number five basically is don't suffer too much. Sometimes the doctors say that, you know, if you can handle pain, it's, it's good. But sometimes if it's inflammation, like in your feet from dancing on shoes all night or three nights, um, actually they recommend to take anti-inflammatory because, well, it actually helps heal the body um, rather than just numb the pain. But um, of course I should say that any medication that you decide to take, you should consult with your doctor. <laughs> so that's my tip number five. If you did all of the rest of the tips and, and you are still dying inside, consult your doctor what painkillers you should take. And here we are at the end of the video again. I hope you found these tips useful. Um, they are not um, anything that somebody have not thought of before, but sometimes it's, it's nice to hear somebody else say it. You might have forgotten those tips or something, so this is just a reminder maybe for you. But I will also link a video below, uh, so look at the description box, um, of a video of stretches because I did mention that stretching is really, really important part of recovering your body after the dance congress. So I have a video with some basic stretches, with some explanations um, that you can do very quickly, take a short period of time, but you can do it at home or anywhere that you are. So if you do need it, I will link the video below. And in the meantime, I hope to see you in some dance congresses. If not, I'll see you in another video. Subscribe!